In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can set up Google Analytics to generate a report that will reveal the keywords that people have been using to find your site on Google. This is a really useful report because it will show you which keywords are working well for you so that you can create more content around them. It might also reveal some keywords that are bringing in traffic where you don't have much content so you can work on that, build it out, and also show you which keywords aren't working as well as you thought they might have been. Now out of the box, Google Analytics does have a keyword report under the acquisition section. However, it doesn't really show you much because most of the traffic will be reported as not provided. So yeah, that's not very useful at all. However, with the report that we're gonna be setting up in this video, you'll be able to see exactly which keywords people are using to come to your site, including how many people are coming via each keyword. And you'll also be able to see which landing pages are performing the best on Google as well. One quick thing before we jump on the computer and get this all set up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, why not do so right now? You can do so by clicking on the button below. Make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And if you enjoy this video and you find it useful, please click that like button. It really does help me out. Anyway, let's get on the computer. Let's get it set up. So this is the report that we want to enable within our Google Analytics account. This is for my site, bestroofbox.com, which is my current affiliate marketing website that I've been doing lots of work on. By the way, I've got a playlist which has got all of the videos around this website in it, including the very first video where I create the website and then subsequent videos where I've been adding content, making changes to the site, building links, and of course, sharing the revenue and traffic numbers for the site. So do go check those out if you haven't done so already. So this report basically tells us the keywords that people are using to find our website. It's a really useful report because you can see what's working, which areas are bringing in traffic, and then you can decide maybe that you wanna do more around those keywords to bring in even more traffic, or maybe explore other areas where you're not getting much traffic. This report is much better than the other acquisition report, which you can find under um, all traffic and then in channels. And then if you go into um, organic search here, it doesn't really tell you much in here because most of the keywords are under not provided. That's because Google uses SSL and, and stuff like that. So it can't basically get the data. So this report is pretty useless and that's why we need the one that's under search console. So to get this working, you need two things. You need Google Analytics running on your site, which I'm assuming you've already got if you're watching this video. If you haven't, just go over to analytics.google.com and sign up, create your profile. It's pretty simple, you just gotta fill in a very quick form. You then need to add analytics tracking to your website. I use a plugin called Monster Insights. Where is it? Ah, oh, here. It's called, yeah, Monster Insights. It's a free plugin. You can simply add it by going into plugins and then add new, do a search for Monster Insights. Very easy to set up, just follow the wizard and it will connect you up to your Google Analytics account. So make sure you've done that bit first and then it will start tracking all the visitors that come to your website. So once you've got Analytics set up and you've got it installed on your website using Monster Insights, you then need to set up the Google Search Console if you've not done that already. Let me show you how that works. Just do a quick search for Search Console. Should be the first one that comes up, here it is. And then click Start Now. Now because I've already got some sites in here, it's taken me straight in. If you haven't, it will prompt you to add a site. I can do it by coming down here and clicking Add Property. Now I go for the URL prefix one, um, which tends to work fine. It's a lot easier to get up and running than the domain one, which requires DNS verification, which is a little bit more complicated. This one, it can verify you using your analytics that you just set up, hopefully, or you, you already had set up. So just enter your URL. For me, it's the Swim Signs website. You need to add the HTTPS as well. Click Continue. I'm gonna go and verify. And because I'm logged in and because I've got Google Analytics set up, it should just work. Woohoo, it did just work, perfect. So now if we go to property, here we are. Now it's gonna take a day or so for the data to start to appear in here. 
But we're now ready to hook this up to our Google Analytics. And there will be a little bit of a delay for the data to kind of move across from Search Console into Google Analytics. Um, but that's fine, so let's go back into Google Analytics. I'm gonna switch uh, my profile to the Swim Science profile, like that. And then within Analytics, if you come down to the Search Console area, you can click on any one of these four reports. And it will prompt you that you need to set up Search Console data sharing. So just click this button. Takes you through to these settings, scroll down. Got this search console area, click the button. Click this add link here. Now I've got quite a lot of sites in my search console, so I just need to find the right one. There it is, give it a click, click save. Press okay. I think that's done it. Let's go back to analytics. Let's click done, let's just scroll down. Let's just click adjust search console again. Maybe refresh, let's see. Aha, perfect, it's there, I needed just to refresh the page. Uh, perfect, it's all done, let's click save. So to access the report, you'll find it in here, it's under acquisition, under search console. Let's see if any data has come across, it might have done. Don't know how long it takes. Okay, there's nothing in queries yet. That's fine. Uh, as I say, it takes a little bit of time. Let's have a look at landing pages. Okay, yeah, there's a few things in uh, landing pages. There's no numbers really just yet, but you know, this site doesn't actually get a lot of traffic just yet, so there isn't gonna to be too much data, but yeah, you'll find all the reports that you need. The two most important are probably gonna be landing pages and queries, and so you'll find them all under Search Console. So, yeah, we're all done. That brings the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Hope you got your analytics and your Search Console connected and talking to each other. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. I do read all the comments that I get. I'll try my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Why not take a look at my vlog channel, click on my other face, and here are a couple more videos they've been chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.